Hello everybody, Nikki White here, and today we're going to be doing two things. We're going to be ordering off of the website surugaya.com, which is a website that allows you to buy, I think, predominantly used items from Japan at great prices, and we're going to be unboxing one of the items that I got. Let's get into it. So I've used some of these proxy websites before in previous videos where you can order clothing and stuff from Japan and basically a company in Japan will get these items for you, ship it to a warehouse and then ship it to you. So the items are significantly more expensive because you're paying those warehouse fees, commission fees, shipping fees. But I ended up finding this website because I was looking to complete a set of these Studio Ghibli embroidered buttons that I had bought in Japan on my recent trip. I got about six of them, but it turns out I needed 12 to finish my set. So I started Googling to see if I could find any of these buttons used at like a reasonable price. And that's what led me to this website. And the initial like UI of the website looks very basic. Like it's kind of like, is this a scammy website? Like it's just, it doesn't look great but I took a chance on it. I started looking stuff up and what I think it is is that sellers in Japan are selling their used goods, which anything used in Japan is always like A plus quality. So I very much trust that. And I don't know how these prices work, but the prices were very reasonable. It's like they're selling it for what they want. And then this website also ships overseas if that's where the buyer is, which I am. So I started hunting and I was getting different buttons that I was missing, like obviously at a marked up price, but nothing too crazy. And they were running a promotion when I bought my stuff that there was free shipping. So all I had to pay was maybe 500 yen commission to the website, just from being like that middleman. But shipping was free during this promotion and all the items came in a timely manner. So I'm super happy with the website and what I got off of it. So I highly recommend if you're looking for maybe like a little piece of a collection, figurine, toy, collectible, check them out. Not sponsored at all. I'm just talking about my experience and I really enjoyed it. I'm wondering if they run these free shipping promos fairly often because then I would be very tempted to buy things off of it again. So I got some gotcha toys that I wanted to get but didn't get. I got the buttons for my bag. I got other cute little buttons. And then let's unbox this together because remember in my Kirby video I mentioned how there was those little star-shaped embroidered keychains that were sold out across the board at Kirby cafes? Well, Big Mama found them on that website and a seller was selling the whole box of them. Of course it was pricey, but honestly still reasonable for the whole box. And what I'm hoping is that if this is a full box, I hope it has one of each design and it's not gonna be like doubles, doubles, doubles. So this is a bit of a throwback to like when I was unboxing blind boxes. And I guess this is how it was displayed in the store. Um, it's got the die line here. So this would be cut open and then you would grab, for example, you know, the blind box package. And then I hope you get the one you want. And there are eight designs total as seen here. One of them is secret. So, yeah, let's start opening these guys up and see what we get. And hopefully I don't end up with a bunch of doubles. Fingers crossed that there are the eight designs in here. Let's go. And on the box here, it says it was 6,000 yen. I feel like it might've been a little bit more than that on the website, or maybe it was just 6,000 plus fees, but that's around like 60 bucks. And I'm sure each one of these keychains was going for like easily 800 yen or a thousand yen. So not too bad. Okay. So excited that I got my filthy little mitts on these. I don't want to destroy this package, but like realistically, what am I going to use it for? And I can barely get it open. So it's going to get destroyed. What all day? All right. Okay. At first we have this Waddle D star keychain. I just love this star shape. It is awesome. I'm a big fan of embroidery, obviously, because I do it for my store. We've got a hamburger on the back there as well. I'm not too sure how I'm gonna display these bad boys yet. In the store, they just had like a bar and they were all on it, but that was obviously like display for customers. I might kind of hang them from different places. Um, 
Oh, this one is so cute. So that's number one, which is not a secret one. I wonder what the secret one is. Number two. I like how it comes in this extra like concealer. <laughs> this one is, it's almost like a sleepy time. Well, it's like sleepy time, nighttime colors and he's on a star, but he's still got the chef's hat because Kirby Cafe. Um, what's on the back? It's like just a star and a cube. I almost said like a microwave at first. This one's got an interesting color palette. Um, this one is also not a secret, but at least we've got two different designs going so far. Number three. Ooh, this one's cute. Oh, this is, no, nope, it's not the secret, I lied. <laughs> the color looked a bit different on the box. This one is like a very sweet one. Uh, he's got a dessert and it's got like pink and white colors with a cute little donut on the back. And honestly, I find like I'm self-taught with embroidery and there's so much that goes into it because you can't just take a design and turn it into embroidery. There's a whole digitization process. So I find that these little guys actually help me kind of learn more because I study what techniques they've used, if it's satin stitches, fill stitches. Anyways, I'm going off on a tangent, but these guys help in my business life too. All right, so we've got three different ones. So that is promising thus far. This one already I can tell is different. Okay, not the surprise one. I don't necessarily love the black and yellow. It's got the tomato on the back. I would have liked it more if it didn't have such a hard outline, but halfway through, I'm burning through these. I wanna have them out in my life displayed and I probably won't use them on my actual keychain because that stuff I find does get dirty and shows use more so these are probably going to be all display bad boys. Yeah I'm feeling good though I feel like each box has eight of the designs. I wonder what the secret one is. Still not a secret but uh this one's like a little apple themed one. There's a little apple and some leaves and an apple on the back. Kind of an interesting color of this teal with like a magenta. Not necessarily what I would think of for an apple color palette, but you do you, Kirby. Okay, we've got three left. And one of them should be the secret. There's a super cute one though that like I can see on the package that I better get. Maybe it's this one. I just got my nails redone because I broke a bunch and I feel like even with this, I'm gonna go ahead and break more. <laughs> Okay, I just aggressively pulled that one out, and I think it's a secret. I can't see the front yet. What is it? Ah, okay, it's Waddle Dee and Kirby and this, like, nocturnal, celestial background <laughs> nighttime scene. Okay, so this is a secret one. And there's the lollipop on the back. This is cute. Again, kind of dark, darker colors than I would have expected for the set, but look at me, I pulled the secret one. But I guess it's not too hard because from the way this is going, it has all eight. Ooh, okay, the two ones that are left look very cute. Is this, yes, okay, this is the one, might actually be my favorite. It's my boy Kirby just downing a sandwich. How cute is that? Is there like steam? Oh no, they're clouds. I thought he was like going so hard. There was steam coming off of him. But yeah, it looks like a little hot dog or a sandwich, which I think is actually something they have at the Kirby Cafe. Or at least they have like a Kirby doing the like <laughs> thing with like a sandwich that they put in it. And the back has a little cherry. I really like these colors, like the yellow and the blue and then the hit of pink from Kirby. All right, so the last one should, in theory, I'm gonna use my fortune teller skills, should be a Waddle Dee coffee one. And on the website, they were selling some of these guys individually, but yeah, I just went hard and I ended up getting all of them. Okay. Okay, come on. here. here we go. Look at that, I'm a fortune teller. 
Waddle Dee Coffee. Oh my gosh, guys, the back is super cute. Ah, pancakes! When I was in Japan, I, not at Kirby Cafe, but at, um, I think it was like Hoshino Coffee. Some of the best pancakes I've ever had, so. All right, guys, that was all eight. Heck yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is all eight of the Kirby Cafe keychains. Super glad it wasn't a blind box situation of getting repeats and that it was just like eight for eight. I'm so happy that I found this website and found these because it was gonna be one of those things that was gonna haunt me until I got them. And this was easy, got them just like that. So I would highly recommend going to that website if you wanna check out what they have. They might have parts of your collection that you're missing. So we'll see you in the next one. Okay, see you, bye. Should I go out like this?